Local 10 News first brought you the story of at least five BSO vehicles plastered with the face of the sheriff on the taxpayer's dime. Well, coincidentally, Scott Israel is seeking re-election as Broward's top cop, and his opponent condemns it as election abuse. Here's Local 10 News investigator Bob Norman with an update. The fleet of so-called Israel mobiles never made it to the road. The Broward Sheriff's Office confirmed the vehicle wraps featuring a large image of Sheriff Scott Israel, which cost taxpayers some $12,500 for the five cars, have been removed. That was a smart move to take them off because uh, ethnically I think they were wrong. It was incorrect to put them on there. Willie Jones, a retired BSO sergeant running against Israel, said it was wrong for taxpayers' money to be used for what he likened to Israel campaign ads in the first place. Being uh, an election year, he's going to use his office to promote himself. The work was done by a company called Broward Collision, and records show that just days before the work was begun, Sheriff Israel accepted $2,000 in campaign contributions tied to the company. I question it. I question the ethics of it. I question the timing of it. Hello. I went to Broward Collision with some questions. The owner wasn't there, and an employee said there was no comment. You would have to go to BSO and talk to them, but nothing is supposed to be out. She said that's what she was going to tell you. Nothing's supposed to be out? Mm -mm. So what she said she's not going to talk to anything. You need to talk to BSO. And you can't talk about the political no. side of this, the political contributions. Want some more about the political contributions. No. 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 Can't talk about nothing. She said thank you. That's it. The sheriff's office said it took those wraps off because of design and workmanship issues, and the sheriff had no comment at all. In Pembroke Park, I'm Bob Norman, Local 10 News. And Bob tells us a sheriff's spokeswoman told him that a new design for those five cars for the so-called community outreach team hasn't been finalized just yet.